Hi guys! I wanted to come to you today with a random haul, and I mean it is random. Um, I have a TV show, I have the, the DVD that I bought, um, I have one diamond painting thing, I have um, some beauty stuff, um, some cleaning stuff that, um, one cleaning product, um, some stuff that I want to start trying to make my own kind of cleaning products. It's just something I love to learn, so it's not like I'm going, you know, totally, you know, minimalist or, you know, whatever. I just kind of want to change over some toxin, you know, get rid of some of the toxins that are in my products and whatnot. Um, so I want to show you some of the things that I've bought that um, I think are a little greener. They may not be. Let me know down in the comments um, if I'm like totally off base because I'm just learning this. Also, I will have another video coming up that has seven uh, books in it. So I will have a book haul and I will explain my theory behind why I purchased the books that I did because they are again random if you don't um, know the story as to why I bought the books. So um, now that I'm a minute and a half in, here we go. Um, let's start with I bought some coloring books. I was I've been watching all kinds of videos. I've been watching new people. Um, they come up in my feed like the you might like to watch this, and so. I have just been clicking on some of them that look kind of interesting to me and I think her name is Coloring by Lori or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember exactly the name. It's Coloring by somebody. Um, but she had these books, these coloring books that are Coloring Quest. And this one was really funny because she had this one. It's a Coloring Quest and you color the pictures in but you have absolutely no idea. I can't see what's going on here. You have absolutely no idea what the picture is. So you just have to use um, the colors that are on this page to, okay, that's upside down, Brenda. Try, try harder here. Um, you use these colors here and you color in by the number over here. It's color by number. And you'll come up with a picture. And so I haven't started with this yet. Some of them are squares. Um, some are circles. Let's see. Some are these, I don't even, looks like a beehive to me. Um, but you won't know what they are until you actually do the picture. So I can't wait and see. You can see how it came out like this with the... Um, pink flamingo. So I got that one. That was the first one I got. And then I got this color by number Christmas mosaic. And I thought it was really neat. And I've actually started on one. Um, I'm trying some of my different markers. And I've already um, screwed up in a way. It said brown and I got dark brown. I got the dark brown and brown screwed up. But I had another set of markers that had an even darker brown. So um, I was kind of saved by that. But I started this picture right here in it, but it's just got, um, it's kind of like a stained glass effect to me. Mosaic, I guess, but stained glass, whatever. But this is kind of what the pictures will be, and it's color by number. And I like those um, because sometimes when I get very intricate pictures, I get a lot more anxiety because I don't know... Um, what to do. Lisa Loves has been doing, um, I think mosaic, like, no, mandalas. And those make me very nervous to do because I don't know I'm going to screw them up. I know I will. So they make me very anxious. So I'm like, stop buying mandalas. So that's one thing I've learned. Um, I bought, I started in my last month's favorites. I told you that I had started watching Will and Grace in March the second season I had gone back and watched all of the shows for it. So I went back and I got the first se season one of the revival of the show. So I went back and got that and I have already watched all of this. I absolutely love it and watched uh, part of season two again already. So um, you can tell how much, just how much I do love um, Will and Grace. I've always loved Will and Grace, but um, 
so I got that. That's just something that I had to get. One of the di the only diamond painting thing that I have in here is from Star Ore, and it is a multi-placer kit that I purchased from her. And the funny thing was, is I had been looking for this, and this is to um, go down and straighten up your rows. And I had been looking in Lowe's, Walmart, any place I could, you know, that had paint or anything. I was looking for one of these, and I was I hadn't gone I hadn't gone to Lowe's yet, but I there was two or three times I could have and I didn't, and I had ordered these and I thought I just ordered the multi placers. And when I got the package in the mail, it had this crazy thing in it. And I was like, really? You've been running all over the place looking for that, and you had one coming in the mail. Which doesn't surprise me at this point in life, because that's how I work. I do things, and I don't realize I've done it. So, that's what that piece is. And then I got all of these multi-placers. Um, this is a 15-placer. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but... Let me see here um, if we can get it to focus in. Right there. Can you see the 15 um, right there? So that's a 15 placer. Um, and then there's a bunch of them here. I think they are all the way down to a 3 placer. This one is a 3 placer. This little bitty doohickey here. Uh, this is a six placer this is a 11 placer a 10 placer a 12 placer a 14 placer um what is this a nine placer um a 13 placer i think a couple more three or uh, four placers um, one is a seven placer, one is an eight placer. So I got all of those um, for like $12. And I'm saying um a lot today. I don't know what that's about, but okay. So I got all of the, this package for $11.99, I think it was, because I was wanting some different size multi placers because the only thing that I had was up to a four placer and I was getting used to that. And I have some diamond paintings that I'm wanting to do and they have a lot of the same colors. So I wanted that. So, the next thing I'll move into is uh, beauty, I guess. So, I got this Equate Beauty Smoothing Daily Cream. It is a daily moisture cream. And it's got um, oatmeal and moisturizers in it. And I got this from Walmart. I have used it. It is very good. Um, it's kind of a thick consistency like this. And it is the dupe to this Eucerin skincare. This is like a $9.99 um, tube, and this one was like three. So I was like, oh, let me try this out and see if it'll work. And because we all know I have OCD, if you've been around here, the germ OCD, and I like to wash my hands. So I bought this, and it works just as good as this one. And you can see that this one is almost done. Um, so. It's for dry, itchy skin, but I usually use it for my hands. When I get really anxious and everything, I sometimes have, um, in my nerves, I have bumps that come up under there, and my doctor told me to get this, and it took care of them, so I have been using this ever since. I don't know. She goes, you have nerve endings, and that's what those little bumps were, because they look like little blisters, and I'm like, what on earth is that? And she's like, calm down. It's just your nerve endings. And it was, I was getting ready to have surgery when I, when that happened to me. And she's like, calm down. It's your nerves. They're out of control, which is par for the course for me. If you, if you've been around a little while, you know that I have been with the new medication I'm on. Um, I was itching for a while. And then with the pollen that is here in Oklahoma, they said the other day that the oak trees are putting out 10 times the amount of pollen that they normally do. 
So everybody's car in town is a sheen of yellowish green. Mine is a black car with a tint of yellowish green and it comes off on your hands. It is gritty. It is gross and um, we all have allergies here. Lovely. So um, that has been making me itch more. So I got two things that helps me with that. Um, it helps my skin and my scalp. So one of them, I got a sample like this from Lush back a while back and I tried it and it was the Veganese conditioner. And I've been trying to find some conditioners that I really like and so I tried this and I absolutely love this. Um, it is it's got lemon for shine, seaweed for softness, and herbal infusions for your scalp. So this has been helping me not itch like I have bugs or something um, because I will get to scratch and like now I'm going to start itching um, because I'm talking about it. I sometimes look like I have bugs. People are like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm itching. I have a problem. I have more than one problem. That's side point. The other one is a, it. you've seen this from my New York haul and this has been so great with helping my skin um, stop itching and so I had bought like I think I said in my empties I bought like four or five different types of um, bath wash um, shower wash that I was trying to get my skin to calm down and shower oils and whatnot and it wasn't working so I knew this was it's expensive it's regular $27 but I got it for on sale for 21 and then I had a 10% off coupon and it is the Saban shower oil and lavender apple and this stuff is amazing. Since I have gone back to using it, my skin has calmed down so much. So you get it out of New York. And um, I actually bought three of these. One of those are in, are in there being used. I have one in the closet here. And then I have this one. They do come with a pump that you have to cut down. Um, I have it wa wrapped up in a washcloth because I don't want it falling on the floor and everything because you know me, my germs. Um, so I am loving this stuff. And I the reason why I bought three of them was, and there's another product here I bought, you had to get to $75. And if you only bought one, the shipping was $12. So I was like, oh no, I'm going to need more of this. So I bought three bottles of this so I would have backups and... Um, my skin will quit itching and then it'll even go all over into the winter so I wasn't too worried about it. So to get me up to the $75 I got the Saban foot cream and it's based on um, menthol and camphor so it's just a little tube so I wanted to try it out. I like trying um, different products from Saban because I love them and um, they have a store in New York City and that's where I got my first stuff at I don't really smell. This is not like a really um, stinky kind of lotion, which is always a good thing because I don't really need stinky stuff. So, um, But I wanted to try this out and I got that. So, oh, here's another thing I got from Lush. I got the Scrubby B. I think that's what it's called. And it's got lotion in it and it's got, I think, coffee grounds, if you can see the darker part. So when I use this... Um, it will exfoliate my skin and it will also put the moisture back in it and then I just have to like um, just tap the water off of me and you will be moisturized and I tried it in the store and it worked really good on my hands so I got that to try as well and then I as I was saying I think I said in the beginning of the video I'm trying to do um, some cleaning products. I want to start making my own cleaning products. I started out by reading a book and a lady was talking about some cleaning products that are better than others. So the first thing I went and I bought this and of course you had to buy two bottles of it on Amazon but it's Better Life Naturally Filth Fighting All Purpose Cleaner and it is the Clary Sage and it's clutched through it cleans through no it cuts through 
grease and grime. I can't read or anything today. No harsh fumes and it's plant derived cleaning agents. So I've been using this and I am absolutely loving this, but I still want to eventually start making my own products. But right now I'm absolutely loving this and I spray it. I can smell a little bit of the clary sage, but it's not like one of those things that you have to leave the house after you spray it. So I'm loving that and um, I would definitely recommend this because I've been using this this week. Um, you can see what I've been doing here. So I actually have two bottles of this, so this should last a while. And I think this is $6.99 on Amazon, but you have to buy two of them. And it's a 32 ounce bottle, so this should last me a while, hopefully. I also bought off of Amazon these magic sponge cloths. I saw them from Sophie Ulano. Uh, she's the gorgeously green person. Um, I think she had some different from a different brand, but I found these from um, Amazon, and they're 100% natural and 100% biodegradable, highly absorbent, extremely durable, soft and flexible, vegan, no GMO. And you can this package replaces up to 75 rolls of paper towels, machine washable up to 300 times per. Uh, per thing in here and they are magic cloth sponge so I saw her using them and I wanted to try them so I think they were like five or six dollars so I thought why not try them um, and I'm also using like old t-shirts and stuff that I've cut up and I'm using them as rags to try to get away from using as many paper towels. I also found these at the dollar store they were the only two that I found there yesterday they were over by the um, like the cooking utensils that you have at the, the dollar store and they are these clean life multi-purpose cleaning cloths so I bought both of them that was there because I knew if I just bought one and liked it and I would never find them again so I bought both those and um, there's two cloths per deal so I have four of those and then I also have the I bought a mold and I want to make some fizzy um, toilet cleaners in here so I bought that and I got it for $4.77 and of course it was blue so it turns the camera crazy so I bought that I got a 60% off at now I'm pink really come on so I bought that to do those and then I bought off of Amazon a pack of six of these blue bottles I love the cobalt blue bottles so I'm gonna make my products in these they're glass you can hear and I'm going to put my labels on them. Um, one of the, oh, and I didn't put on here, but I bought... Uh, one of the things they said is to clean your mattress is to spray vodka on your <laughs> mattress and let it air dry. Turn the fan on and let it air dry and it kills, you know, germs and everything like that. So, I don't have it in here. I forgot about that. But I bought... I went to the liquor store the other day and I bought the largest bottle of vodka I could find. So, um, and it was cheap, and so I'm like, the bed's going to be clean because I probably drenched the crazy thing. But um, that's one of the things that I learned that you could clean things. Um, I didn't want to sprinkle anything or spray anything on it because that's where I sleep. I didn't want any other chemicals. And then when they said vodka, and I'm like, okay, are you going to get drunk? But they were saying, because somebody asked that on this TV show or whatever she was on, this um, lady was on, and she said no, that it died, once it dries, it's good. So I'm like, okay, fine. So um, those are some of the things that I've been getting in my random haul. Um, I will update you on them and let you know what I've done with these, whether I like them, um, if anything changes, you'll see them in my favorites or something. But I wanted to let you all know, know that, what I've been up to, and give you something else besides just diamond paintings. I know some of you are probably thinking I'm just going specifically diamond painting. I am not. Um, I'm just looking for different ideas in life that I want to do. So that's part of what's going on. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.